uh, here uh, the normalized wave functions if you want to give it uh, here we have to take both of the orbital motions this should be taken into account as well as electronic motion should be taken into account and thereby the normalized wave functions by taking into account of both orbit as well as uh, electronic spin it should be given as a uh, one by so in the slater determinants we just give as a pi of one and pi of two etc whereas in this case right now we have assumed that is a keeley atom and it has a okay two electron is present and here both orbital and angular momentum uh, orbital and uh, spin momentum should be taken into account spin functions and thereby okay one by root two into okay uh, the orbit function is one s one into alpha of one and one s one into beta of one or 1s2 alpha 2 or 1s2 beta 2 in the in the ground state okay it is in the ground state whereas uh, the story will be different if it the case in the case in the excited state okay so here with respect to the, the different uh, uh, values like uh, uh, quantum number values n value is uh, 1 and uh, in the case of uh, okay l equal to 0 and m equal to 0 in the case of ground state so yes, it's different and one electron in the alpha spin and other electron in the beta spin. Whereas if you talk about uh, uh, when you apply for an excited state for the helium atom, and then it will say that, uh, okay, the symmetry means uh, 1s1 and uh, 2s1. And uh, whereas in the case of anti-symmetry, uh, it says that uh, it used to have, okay, probability is, uh, further the probability will be enhancing. Okay, in the case of excited state. So there is a four spin is possible in the excited state. Okay, so here are three are symmetry and one are anti-symmetric. Totally four and out of four spin function, the three functions are symmetric in nature and one is in anti-symmetric nature. Like just like in uh, ground state systems. So the complete wave functions for helium atom in the excited state is, that is a spin into orbital function means uh, we have to take that uh, two into four. That is a possibility, the possibility is uh, uh, eight possible spin orbital functions are possible. That is how means uh, the ground state and in the excited state like uh, orbit into spin or orbit into spin that is symmetry into symmetry or symmetry into symmetry. So likewise, if you check it out, okay, there is a, a total possibility is uh, eight possibility is there and out of eight possible spin orbital wave functions, uh, only four are anti-symmetric and four remains as symmetric. So we can ignore the four symmetric wave functions uh, and we can take only four anti-symmetric. So in the case of helium atom has a four excited state spin multiplicity. Okay, so that is the cases. So you can use the kind of uh, two electron means uh, in the case of a uh, ground state, how the electronic two into s value will be taken out. And thereby we can say that uh, uh, there are eight possibilities there and how we are kind of uh, things is present in the case of singlet state or in the case of triplet state we can identify so out of four uh, that is uh, uh, of four are anti-symmetric and uh, how many of them are uh, singlet and how many of them are triplet can be identified so we can identify that uh, out of four excited state for a helium atom it says that uh, only one is a singlet state and the remaining three are termed as a triplet state Okay, so this is the one we have studied. That is, uh, uh, in the case of helium atom, we have just taken only one more model, just like a uh, uh, one electron system. In the many electron systems, we have taken only one model. And using that one model, uh, I mean, uh, two electron systems, uh, we just start that like uh, here, if you want to study the wave functions, we have to take both the orbital and uh, kind of electronic spin motions. Uh, and based on that, we have derived Slater determinants and using the slater determinants, it is possible to check for helium or lithium or boron or carbon systems. And uh, keeping the slater determinants in mind, uh, it is possible to uh, take both the orbital and uh, spin functions. And thereby, okay, so we just checked for a helium atom how the overall wave functions may be present with respect to okay, two electrons uh, present in a ground state or two electrons in an excited state. And it says that uh, there are only four possible uh, systems, uh, four possible excited state, state is present for helium atom. And among the four possible excited state, one is a single state and the remaining three are in the case of triplet state. 
Okay, so this is the case uh, for helium atoms. So likewise, uh, it is possible to check it for uh, other systems like lithium or beryllium, etc. Okay, in our, it is possible. Here we have just given only one system, and likewise, it is possible to construct for uh, many electron systems. Okay, uh, always we have to uh, choose that uh, here the uh, how many electrons present also it is a product of one electrons. Okay, if it is a five electron means, uh, okay, one into five. The likewise only we have to take because we should not take five different systems. If we take five electrons as a different entity, then it will be a very complicated and it is not possible to solve. So the easiest methodology is uh, to choose uh, or to uh, think that all the five electrons will have similar property like uh, first electrons. Likewise only we will consider and we have to uh, derive the uh, normalized wave functions uh, by taking into account of both uh, Orbital motions and electron spin motions. Okay, that is the cases. So, at the slater, so one, one possibility is uh, you, have to, you should know about what do you mean by slater determinants and how to construct the many electron systems by knowing the atomic number. That is very important. Uh, overall, the why the wall functions should be symmetric or anti symmetric. Or, uh, how the helium atoms um, uh, systems, uh, why the helium atom has uh, only four excited states, uh, you have to explain based on the symmetric and anti symmetric wave functions policies. And uh, based on that hypothesis, you have to explain those criteria. Okay. <clears throat> the next topic here is uh, okay, um, uh, you have to how to uh, take into the more uh, content of uh, uh, all this right now, whatever things we have studied. In the case of uh, multi electron systems or many electron systems, we are thinking about uh, only electron motions, electronic motions coupled with orbital and spin motion. Okay, and you, uh, uh, if you want to study, means uh, we have to look into the kind of a nucleus also. Okay, so the, in the case of uh, the pre whatever topics we have studied in this class, we just taken only the perspective with respect to electron, we just ignore the nucleus. Okay, so we just studied about orbit and assuming that only electrons and we we didn't follow about the nuclear systems. And uh, uh, right now we want to uh, study uh, in taking into account of uh, nucleus also. And uh, the hypothesis is uh, proposed by means of a uh, bond open humor, and that's why it is called as a bond open humor approximations. Okay, so in principle, all molecular properties are calculated by solving the Stoddinger equations for any molecule. And the complete Stoddinger equations uh, covers both the nuclear as well as the electronic motions. So he is the one, first uh, uh, people, I mean, born and open humor, they just taken the hypothesis uh, by considering both the nuclear motions and the <coughs> electronic motions. So normally uh, we used to write the uh, Stoddinger equation as a uh, hat psi is equal to E psi, isn't it? Okay. So the, yeah, this is the storing equations for uh, any systems uh, and uh, the, uh, the H is the kind of Hamiltonian by molecule. Here we have to take into the motion of uh, both the kinetic energy and potential energy Okay, with respect to both the nucleus as well as the electronic motions. And the K factor, I, can, I mean K cap stands for uh, kinetic motions and the V cap stands for the potential motions. Okay. So here we have, there is a possibility. Forces. Okay, so nuclear nuclear forces with respect to potential energy are a nuclear uh, electronic portions with respect to okay potential energy are. Uh, Electro electronic electronic uh, motions with respect to potential energies. So these are the cases. So uh, that is with respect to <coughs> uh, repulsion or attraction should be taken into 